Breast augmentation, I think, is one of the most transformative surgeries. Um, most women who want breast augmentation have been thinking about it for seven to ten years. So it's a real process. You know, um, sometimes it's the younger population. Often it's sort of the, the middle-aged population who they've already had children and they want to rejuvenate their breasts. But it's just a great surgery because it can either take you to a place that you want to go, aka if you have smaller breasts and you want to have larger breasts, or bring them back to a place where they were before. Downtime before used to be you need to take a week off from work or two weeks off from work and things along those lines, but that is not the case anymore. Because the post-operative recovery isn't all that painful, and I'll get to that point in a moment, because people are working from home and or Zoom calls, things along those lines, you don't really have any downtime. And what do I mean by that? So say you got surgery on a Tuesday. Wednesday, you're answering your emails, right? You're making phone calls. You're responding to text messages. You're doing all of those things. I've started implementing a 24-hour recovery program. And it's about preoperative medication and intraoperative medication to avoid the need for postoperative medication. And we're also realizing that, particularly with a breast augmentation, women can start doing activities sooner than we thought. You know, the antiquated model is don't do anything, no heavy lifting, nothing for four weeks. And that's just not the case anymore. I tell them, let your body be your guide. If it hurts, don't do it. If it doesn't hurt, you're good to go. So in that sense, because of COVID, because of these non-narcotic regimens that we're starting to introduce, the downtime is, is really minimal.